Naruto, 10 Best Members of the Uchiha Clan, Ranked by Likeability The Uchiha Clan has a rough history in the Naruto franchise, but the members themselves are quite intriguing likable. The Naruto series has brought to life dozens of unforgettable characters with very complex world-building. The shinobi world is branched out in so many clans, each with their own history, abilities, and ways of life. Among those, the Uchihas were the most notable, having had so many individuals with great arcs and a tragedy to speak of. The Uchihas might have been wiped out from Konoha, but their legacy lives in the few who lay low or remain hidden. Plotting the change of the shinobi world While this might sound bad, fans have learned the truth behind the key events of the Uchiha clan and inevitably ended up liking most of them. 10. Kagami Uchiha believes in Konoha until the end. Little is shown of Kagami in the series, but he is notable for his loyalty to his clan and Kanahagakure, as well as his abilities and intelligence. He fought in the First Shinobi War, alongside Hiruzen Sarutobi and Danzo Shimura, as part of an elite escort unit. Kagami stood out as a very trustworthy shinobi who worked directly under Tobarama. Despite having woken his Sharingan, he did not give in to his clan's curse of hatred as Uchihas were prone to do. Instead, he lived according to the Will of Fire, founded by Hashirama Senju. He died at 25 years old. Kagami Uchiha is also known to be Shirsue's ancestor. 9. Fugaku Uchiha is a devoted father leader. Fugaku leads the Uchiha clan and is the chief of Konoha's military police force. He was also considered a candidate for Hokage, making him someone as talented as Namike's Minato. Fugaku sought a path that would minimize the suffering of civilians but gave in to revolution and it became clear that there was no hope left for his clan. He insisted that Kakashi keep the Sharingan Abito gave him, respecting his friend's dying wish. As a father, he was seen as strict and ambitious, having high expectations of Itachi and Sasuke. In his last moments, he took the blame for Itachi's sacrifice telling him he was proud of him and that he is truly a gentle child. Fugaku made Itachi promise to take care of Sasuke, thus accepting his sentence to death. 8. Mikoto Uchiha is a loving supportive mother. Mikoto is Sasuke's mother, a kind and loving figure, and a strong presence in young Sasuke's life. She was a jonin before she became a housewife and a close friend of Uzumaki Kushina. Mikoto is portrayed as a gentle and loyal character, ready to give out advice to her sons and be supportive of her family. It's shown in the way Fugaku confides in her and feels comfortable talking highly of Sasuke when alone with Mikoto. Whereas usually, he shows a cold front toward everyone else. In her last moments, she is unresisting of her eldest son's attempts to end her life. Instead, she agrees with Fugaku's last words for Itachi to take care of Sasuke and makes no move to oppose him as he strikes the killing blow. 7. Sarada Uchiha is the smartest of her generation. Daughter of Sasuke and Sakura, Sarada is a sharp, collected, and very talented Kunoichi, having inherited her mother's affinity for perfect chakra control and her father's Achiha blood. Sarada is Baruto's teammate and friend, competing with him while entertaining the ambition of one day becoming Hokage herself. While many of the old Naruto fans might not feel especially attached to her character, she is not unpleasant or immature, as other characters have shown in their teens. Opinions differ and Sarada has her fair share of upcoming fans, especially among people who only watched Boruto and are not as familiar with Naruto's story. 6. Indra Atsutsuki is the progenitor of the Uchiha clan. Indra is the founder of the Uchiha lineage and creator of Ninjutsu. Son of Hagoromo, the sage of the Six Paths, and brother of Azura. He is part of the core story that makes Naruto and Sasuke's bond so important. 
His power and pride have led him to be easily manipulated by Black Zetsu, despite his own genius. When Azura was the one to inherit their father's ways, Indra rebelled against his village and family but was defeated by his own brother. He makes for a very intriguing character. Reincarnating first as Madara, then as Sasuke, experiencing powerlessness and grief. 5. Madara Uchiha still dreams of peace. Madara is easily one of the best villains in anime. His overpowered character is well balanced with his motives and ideals, making it hard to actually dislike him. While he is manipulative and selfish, Madara does genuinely believe his actions serve a greater cause to release the shinobi world from the curse of never-ending battle. His character brings a great contribution to the world Masashi Kishimoto created and is a solid and entertaining part of the whole story. Fans might question if his methods are in fact evil. While his plan to bring peace relies on an illusion that removes all free will, some would wonder if it is indeed worse than having so many generations of shinobi die really young for selfish battles of political reasons. 4. Abito Uchiha is not quite the perfect villain. Abito is introduced as an antagonist in the story, making a strong impact in the Akatsuki ranks and going by the name Madara or his alternate. Toby. His quirky personality brings life to the otherwise gloomy gathering of Akatsuki members. Abito brought forth the arrival of a fourth great war, hiding his motives under the justification of Rin's death. Toward the end of the war, Abito came to realize he was fooling himself into believing his reasons were just. As a result, he has a change of heart that drives him to sacrifice himself into saving the world he sought to destroy. His atonement spurs fans into appreciating his character even more. 3. Shursui Uchiha would have been an amazing older brother. Shursui was Itachi's most trusted friend. He fought his hardest to stop the coup from happening by attempting to be the bridge between Kanoha and his clan. When that failed and Danzo stole one of his eyes, Shursui sacrificed himself so Itachi would have a chance at protecting the innocent. He gave Itachi his remaining eye and took his own life to leave his friend the power of the Mangekyo Sharingan. This decision came from a very strong shinobi, known to be the pride of the entire clan. Shursui's struggles and sacrifice bring a huge impact on the plot and fans wouldn't forget him anytime soon. Coupled with his sunny personality and easygoing nature, he makes for a very beloved character. 2. Sasuke Uchiha manages to defeat his demons. Sasuke comes off as a cold and insensitive individual at first, but there is more to him than just pride and genius. Despite his attempts to remain isolated, there are many endearing moments between him and Team 7. As Sasuke's journey progresses, he goes down a dark path, from a wounded child seeking revenge to a downright evil villain. To the point where fans question his actual role in the story. However, he turned out to be a very understandable character, coping with trauma in the only way he knew how, by getting stronger and severing all bonds with Team 7. Fans can't help but love his story arc, the slow-burning character development, and his undeniable bond with Naruto. 1. Itachi Uchiha is still a mystery to some. Itachi is Sasuke's older brother, presented from the start as a traitor and murderer of his own clan, serving as the sole reason for Sasuke's thirst for power and revenge for much of the series. Later on, Itachi's backstory reveals him as a hero, having taken it upon himself the sacrifice to kill his entire clan in order to avoid an all-out war. While his motives might not seem strong enough for some, many fans view Itachi as a very loving older brother who was forced into making an impossible decision regarding the fate of Sasuke, his clan, and his village. This makes him one of the most beloved characters in not only the Naruto series but also the anime world as a whole.